to heal my soul, tiny hole so I could breathe. But I got sick with your disease. How you doing? Uh, my name is Ken Calais. I'm uh, I'm an old uh, time engineer producer. Back in the 70s, I was lucky enough to to get involved with Fleetwood Mac, and I did four of their albums, starting with Rumors. Uh, lived through that experience. Wrote a book about it, uh, Tusk, Mirage, and the live album. Uh, back then, analog was king. I learned how to use uh, analog, and uh, we were nominated for the best album in the uh, Best Sounding Album in 1976. So that was a pretty big honor. Uh, back then I was, uh, um, I was an engineer and producer, uh, actually just an engineer just learning to be a producer, uh, producing 101 at the uh, School of Fleetwood Mac. Uh, so it was pretty, pretty cool, but I, I learned how to, my thing was that with an engineer, I wanted the best sound. The first day I started uh, doing rumors, I said, guys, we're gonna get a Grammy for this record, and we did. So it was pretty cool. Um, some of my um, people ask me about my secrets. I mean, you know, I, it's just basically listening. You know, placing the learning, learning to listen to the instrument and placing the mic. You know, if you just go back a step and place the mic and listen to the, where the sound's coming from, you'll 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 be a lot better off. I've been trying a, a lot of different equipment, plugins, and uh, I've really found that Slate Digital has got the uh, some great equipment that I, I use almost every single day. Well, I use the uh, the Slate uh, Fox Mic Pre. I use the uh, um, I use the FGX uh, compressor limiter. Uh, that's just fantastic. I do the 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 um, platinum drums. Uh, that's a great tool. What are you working on right now? I'm um, I just finished Colby's Colby Kelly is my daughter. I guess I forgot to mention that earlier. Just finished her Christmas record, uh, and last night we uh, had to recut a a line from her single. Uh, for Disney, because they wouldn't play it, because she said I had too much to drink, so we had to change that word to I had too much to eat or something that was <laughs> more pleasing to Disney. On Colby's album, what did you use from Slate? We've used the virtual console, uh, the virtual mix bus, right, a few times. In fact, I, I sent an email to Stephen the other day, and I said I wanted to do, we're mixing Colby's Christmas record, and I said I wanted to use all Slate gear, and I really wanted to make it sound amazing. I wanted advice on what what would be the team, what would be the, the game plan there. We use the Fox and the FGX. Mm -hmm. And what is it about the Fox that you like? Uh, you know, it, it's it's it sounds good. You know, I, I mean, I I use a, an old tube microphone, and it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't cloud the sound. It doesn't. It just it just seems to be. It makes to me it makes the sound bigger. You know. What mic do you use? I use a CMV five six three. A little-known uh, Neumann microphone. Uh, it's a great, great-sounding mic. You know, I, I also use a, my my second favorite mic is a is a Shure SM26, or is it 27? I think it's a SM27. But it's it's unbelievable. I mean, it's it's a condenser, and it uh, uh, half of Colby's records were, was recorded with that, and and the Fox. So, and you know, people people laugh at me. They say, "How can you use a $299 microphone?" I don't care what it costs. I just care what it sounds like, you know, and, and I swear that that'll fool you every time. That and a fox, boom, you're done. I, I went from being an engineer to producer now, and I have to give all my cre all the credit to my engineers who I work with. I got, there's some great guys. So Guillaume Wright, who's here, uh, will tell you about the technical stuff of what we do. How's it going? My name's Guillaume Wright. I'm an engineer. I work with Ken Kelly for a few years now. Uh, right now we're working on one of our young female artists and uh, we're using a lot of slate stuff especially the fgx ecc and the tape machine which uh if you didn't know it it wasn't virtual it was real and uh we're just going to show you a little bit about how we use the uh fgx basically the problem with most limiters you know you want your need your mixes to be loud as possible for the client and the, record people and all that but uh, a lot of engineers very popular popular to use uh, you know some other ones that usually they get really loud but they get really crunchy really thin this thing you can just get loud and louder and louder and everything low end 
stereo width, all that stuff. Just stays right there. Basically, with any other limiter that's out there, you have tried them all. Uh, you'd basically be getting, you know, if you were to AB it on a CD with the slate, with the FGX, it would be quieter and crappier at the same time. This thing gets louder and it still sounds like it's, you know, supposed to sound. What makes your ears happy. It's, it's loud, but it's also dynamic somehow. I don't know how they do it. But it, it you know, ears don't deceive, so. Yeah, that's the, that's the man. I think that there's obviously a lot of people making great stuff and, and to have somebody right in LA making this kind of gear uh, you know, I'm, I'm all for that. I want to back them as much as possible. So lost in 